Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a vehicle that we're going to be checking for a transmission issue. The complaint from the customer is that the, the shifter is hard to go into gear and also that on the dashboard, the letter D doesn't light up, which indicates that it's not going fully into gear. Her other complaint is that the four low light is flashing on the instrument panel cluster. So we're going to check it out today and we're going to diagnose this vehicle to see what's going on with it. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to scan the computer system to see if there's any diagnostic trouble codes in it. So we're going to go into our scanner here. And we're going to read our, our codes, our trouble codes. So the code that's in this vehicle right now that's stored is a transmission range sensor A circuit, which is indicating to us that there's an issue with the sensor that determines what position the transmission is in. So now we're going to lift this vehicle up and we're going to visually inspect it as well. So on this vehicle we have a cable that runs from the shifter knob to the side of the transmission. And what we've done is we've disconnected that shifter cable from the transmission end. And why I did that is because I want to see how this shifter assembly moves with it disconnected. So I'm just going to push down on our shift lock here and as you can see it moves with you know, one finger. So this indicates that our issue is not in the shifter assembly itself or in the cable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lift the vehicle up and we're going to look at the actual mechanism that's on the side of the transmission and that'll help us determine what, it, what exactly is the fault. So what we've done is we've disconnected our shifter cable. So this cable runs to the shifter knob which we just showed you inside and it connects to this lever assembly on the side of the transmission. So just as easily as that shifter knob moved, this mechanism should also move just as easily. So you can see that it requires a little bit more force to kind of get it moving. It's not as easy as the shifter knob was from the inside. So what this tells us is that we've got an issue either internally inside the transmission or if we come around to this side, we've got our neutral safety switch. That rod that we saw that goes through comes out to this side. And this sensor, like we talked about before, indicates what gear the transmission is in. So at this point, we've narrowed it down to either something internal in the transmission or this neutral switch itself. The next thing we're going to do is remove this and see how it operates. So we've gone ahead and we've replaced that neutral safety switch that was giving us problems. The actual internals of the neutral safety switch were what were causing the stiff shifter. It was also what was causing the, the diagnostic trouble code to appear. So now that we've replaced the neutral safety switch, we're going to go ahead and clear the diagnostic trouble codes, take the vehicle for a test drive and all should be well.